Yesterday, during our training sessions, Joe came along to say hello. Notice how the parrot doesn't want to say hello. Maybe he's a little bit scared. Because she perseveres, he then chooses to move away. Now, if we don't respect this, he may learn that he has to bite in order to tell people to move away. And just walk, move your hand away from it. Good boy. Good boy. Very clever. As you can see, once Joe puts a treat on the table and moves a hand away, he has a confidence to go forward and eat the treat. Now he'll actually go forward and eat the treat from Joe's hand. This way he learns he has no reason to bite people's hands. Hands are positive and they don't force him to do anything he doesn't want. And he learns that greeting strangers is fun. Here's some more. Do you have any more left? As you can see, Joe perseveres building his parrot's confidence. She works small steps at a time. Oh, he's like, oh, I'll back off and go and eat my thing over there. When animals lack confidence, it's really important to give them options and choices. As you can see here, the parrot has a choice okay, to I'm move sorry. away when he starts feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And no one follows him. You see, stop there. I really like this next you know, bit of video. As you can see, he comes back forward, but he hasn't got the confidence to go so back and start eating from Joe's right. hand. Also, Joe is now using her other hand in so front of the hand with the food in to encourage him to right step up. But this has become too much. Forward. It's really important to realize that he's not being stubborn, he just doesn't have the confidence. However, the magic here is, because Joe's been using positive reinforcement training all along, he chooses to stay near a hand, and then when Joe makes it easy to get for him again, he's able to eat from a hand. <laughs> you can tell he's really testing it out as well, because he puts his beak on me for a little bit longer each time. Yeah, and it's not because he's been stubborn or anything, it's just no. because he's been, um, he goes, oh I'm not sure. Yeah. And like when you represent it, because he'd moved away. Again, like we give the parrot choices. We work at his pace, we don't force things on him. So as you can see here, he needed time to move away and think about things. And then Joe makes things a little bit easier and resets his training and you can see that his progress is much faster and he's very happy working through this. And then now he can try and get him to step up. Um, so hold your food just a little bit closer in. Good. There we go. And let him get off if he wants. Keep your hands still. Good. And he stay so he's chose to st get off and eat. So what you'll find with parrots is as they become more confident, they won't choose to get off, they'll yeah, just stay on there and eat. And yeah. Well. There you go. I'll give you some more. Good boy. And instead of probably I should be reinforcing him more when he's closer towards you, then when And watch this next step. Joe presents a hand, she keeps it still, and he takes a second to think about good it. Boy. And he makes his own good choice to come up and take the treat. Oh, I'm also rewarding boy. him for making this choice. Good so he learns that this is a great choice good to make. Boy. Good. There we go. <laughs> good boy. Notice he's still not ready for Joe to stroke him, so Joe doesn't even try. We'll attempt that in tomorrow's session. Today we'll just continue building his confidence being close to a stranger. Good boy. Good, very nice. Good boy. Good boy. Watch this, this is like magic. We've moved indoors, we've done a bit more training, and now he chooses to fly to Joe. He could have flown back onto me, but he said, actually, I'm quite comfortable with flying to Joe now because nice things happen. She's quite predictable. 
she gives me choices and I don't have to be scared I can be quite confident with her so you can see here a number of times when I hold my hand out he chooses to fly to Joe without any hesitation and any problems Joe is now even able to move with him on her hand so to end with we practice a recall back to me Good boy, very clever.